Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is basically going to run down one of my new favorite pistols. Uh, it has dropped in the Frost Knight event, and that's going to be the Basilisk pistol. Uh, looking at this thing right off the bat, I knew I wanted to take it to a crit build, and I was not wrong at all. Uh, if you look right now, I have it all legendaryed out. Two crit damages, a critical rating mag size, and I have it at energy. Uh, to be honest, guys, this is one of my favorite pistols for a lot of reasons. Uh, as you can see, the high critical damage on it and the high crit chance I have on it, um, as well as the look of it. I like the look of this pistol. I like the look of the, all the medieval weapons out there. Uh, but pistols, I love pistol play just because it takes a little bit of skill, takes a little bit of uh, accuracy. You know, you got you to gotta be kind of on your toes with it. Uh, there is now here's one thing that I did realize and it kind of hurt my feelings a little bit But the last perk the permanent perk uh, the damage dealt with weapon snares the target for 30 seconds or 30% sorry for six seconds, but Just uh, buying some llamas with the tickets and stuff like that I found this bad boy the same pistol and if you look at that permanent perk on critical regain 2.64% of damage dealt as shields now, 2.64% of the damage that you're going to deal on a critical uh, doesn't sound like a lot, but as you can see on the pistol that I had and I built, where is it? There it is. Uh, you can see that the critical hit damage is 485% of whatever the base damage was per shot, whether it was a headshot or whether it was actual damage shot. Um, so that's quite a bit, and that's a really cool perk. I haven't played with it. I kind of want to play with it, and I'll level that up, and I'll try to try to figure out which one's better. But just hold off. If you guys have a gun and you like the way it looks from this new Frost Knight um, event, hold off a little bit. Maybe you'll get a better uh, sixth perk, the permanent perk. You maybe you'll find a little bit of a better one. And uh, don't uh, don't be too eager. I know it's nice to level up a gun and stuff like that. That's that's totally fine. Schematic is a lot easier to farm, depending on where you're at. You know, you do a four-player mission stuff like that. But uh, don't be as eager as I was when it came to reperking it, you know, which is one of the more rare things to get. It's such a struggle and a grind to get the reperk to switch the perks out, let alone to get all the, the perk up to make it a legendary uh, gun. Don't be so eager to do it, guys. Uh, maybe wait off because there is some really awesome uh, six perks out there, I think, that have really good potential to make some really good guns. Just like this Hemlock has each shot fires, uh, grants... 3.5% shield for five seconds. There's some really good stuff out there uh, now with the guns. They're doing a lot of different uh, different perks for these weapons, as well as some new hero stuff coming. Uh, maybe 2019, they'll have some different hero stuff. But let's get into it real quick. Let's take that gun out. Uh, I'll show you my heroes. Obviously, if I'm going to run a pistol and try to just do nothing but pistols, um, I'm going to take a ranger. Uh, I have ranger beetle Jess, but you can do a ranger dead eye. He's a stock hero. He's someone that you can just easily recruit. He's not an event hero. Uh, same with Stars and Stripes AC. Uh, the reason I have the Stars and Stripes is because the Make It Count uh, squad bonus for the increased pistol critical hit damage by 70%. That's going to help dramatically, especially if you want to do the most damage per critical shot. Uh, Stars and Stripes is an event hero, but don't worry. Uh, Trailblazer, or Trail Blaster, sorry, Trail Blaster Buzz is someone that you can recruit out of the Outlander section in the collection book. Does the same. Uh, support squad bonus. So don't worry about that. These heroes are just the event ones that I have. They are reskinned from other heroes that can be recruited out of the collection book. But let's go into a zone here and show you how this pistol pops. All right, let's grab the pistol. Where is she? Oh, we got a craft one. That's no big deal. We can craft one easy. Why it's crafting? Let's take a look real quick. Fire rate at 4.05. Uh, mag size 21. It's a nice mag. Now, you don't really need reload speed. You know, I did run with reload speed. Um, it's not really that bad. The reload time on it, it's not bad. Uh, the impact is decent. I mean, it's nothing to be wowed about. Uh, the range is a decent. It's a good range. Good range down uh, downfield. You'll be able to shoot quite a bit um, and do some major damage downfield. Let's make ourselves a little bit of ammo here just to be sure we don't run out. But here it is. And that's the fire rate on it with no fire rate perk or anything. It's pretty good. The 21 bullets. Really can't beat that. That's kind of a bit for a pistol. 
And as you can see, the reload speed's not bad at all. Reload speed, you don't even need the reload speed perk. Uh, if that's your choice, that's your choice. I go for mag size if I can tell that the gun has a decent amount of reload speed. Uh, let's find ourselves some victims. Or is there going to be anybody in this map? Here we go. Perfect. Yeah, it... Just looking at that, that's kind of silly. It's uh, When it crits, it really... It really does a lot of damage here. Now, the thing about energy, I wish I uh, would have kept it physical just for video purposes. Now, I'm not saying I would make it physical. I'm saying energy I'm totally happy with. But for video purposes, you, can, you can't see the critical damage on it uh, as well when it's uh, energy just because the numbers are kind of blocked a little bit by the, the electric uh, numbers there. So you can't see those big yellow numbers pop when you do crit damage on it. So it's kind of hard to tell when it is and when it isn't but you can see the health bar when it does and it does not crit and like i said guys if you go back through this pistol i think it's a 56 percent chance to critical on a bullet now if you look at the gun one more time here the 56.5 percent and 485 percent critical hit damage uh that's gonna be look at that it's it's if you hit him in the head it's over especially if it crits and uh, we'll try to find a smasher and whatnot, but for basic just pistol play, I'm one-shotting these enemies, and I get it, guys. I am a 130. Like, I'm not the max power level, which I was, um, but I, I get that I'm going to have a little bit more uh, damage done with this pistol, but it doesn't. The, the stats on the pistol don't change, especially if you're using the same hero setup I use. That's not really going to change, so... It is a great pistol in my opinion. Uh, just like the Ginger Blaster, I thought the Ginger Blaster was a good pistol. I'm actually looking forward to the Coco 45, which is a different variant of the Whisper 45. I'm interested to see like what they're gonna do with that. That's coming out soon, I would suspect. We're only on day six of 14 for the Frost Knight event. But yeah, guys, nice, short, quick video on this pistol. It is my favorite uh, pistol to run just because the sound, that pop it makes, man. It's it's really cool. Really cool new pistol to play with. Uh, the critical damage is just insane on it. Uh, but yeah, we'll try to find a smasher here to show you face-to-face -face what a smasher is going to do to you and how quick you can take one down. Whew, it took me quite a bit of time to find a smasher. I found him, though. Let's try to see what this pistol is going to do to him. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That pistol pretty much just got him done, and I still had some bullets left over. I did reload, but I still had a lot of bullets left over to uh, take care of whatever might have been around him. I'll try to find a couple more smashers here. Let's see what we can get over here. But yeah, guys, this pistol, man, I, I, uh, I like it a lot. I like the look, like I said, uh, and the sound of it. It's nice, the feel. It's, it's good. It's a good pistol. Uh, if it's not for you, it's not for you. I completely understand. Uh, that Ginger Blaster is also a great pistol. They're uh, doing a lot of great things with the Frost Knight weapons that they've put into the game. And I'm excited for what else they have to bring. Uh, even after this event, I'm excited for whatever they have left for this event to uh, bring for us as the weapons. Uh, but I'm also even excited for future events. Uh, they're, I, they seem to be kicking their stuff up quite a bit. I felt like there was a little bit of time there where we weren't getting as much as we thought, like with the uh, Fort Nightmares, stuff like that. There wasn't as much as I was, I was happy uh, with. Uh, I felt like a lot of things could have been redone, uh, a lot of better weapons, stuff like that. But as far as the Frost Knight goes, I felt like it was a good one. I felt like this is a great event. And uh, we'll try to get one more Smasher here. I thought I heard a Smasher. And I'm trying to figure out where he's is. Yeah, he's, he's around here. Where is he? I hear someone. Don't know who's snoozing. Could have swore it was a smasher, though. Ah, oh, there he is. Let's get him. There it is. Yeah, guys, it's, it's a pistol to have. But that's going to be it, man. You guys can always catch me on Twitch uh, streaming. I stream uh, like pretty much five, maybe six nights a week sometimes, four or five nights, guaranteed. I love Save the World, and I love building a community around Save the World. It's uh, one of my favorite games, man. I do play other games, but Save the World takes over a lot of my time just because it's nice. You meet a lot of cool people. Uh, but like I said, you can always catch me uh, here on YouTube. I'll post some 
some more videos quite regularly now. Um, but if you want, you can come live play, earn some giveaways. Uh, I do play with my viewers quite frequently. We do a lot of stuff around uh, my channel. But I'll post that link in the description there. And I'll check you guys in my next video.